Logan Paul. Mm. Have you been made aware of this 12 tweet oh, rant? We're going to talk about this. Yeah, I'm you not, do you want I, it? I, 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 yeah, of course, bro. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. It's Capital Breakfast. It's Roman Kemp, Sean Welby, and Sunny J with you. And between us, uh, we don't have a single Academy Award. We don't have a single BAFTA or Golden Globe, unlike our guest who is joining us in the studio. You'll have seen him, of course, in Get Out, Black Panther, Judas, and The Black Messiah, and his brand new film, Nope, is Daniel Kaluuya. Yeah! yeah. Oh, Going on, going Daniel, on. so uh, so nice to have you in the studio, mate. Oh, thanks for having me, man. No, it's, I appreciate it. It's, it's lovely to have. Like when, when we when we you know we're talking to big Hollywood people, of course, it's like on Zooms or stuff yeah. like that, or we have to go to a junket. So it's really refreshing to have you come in. Yeah. Oh, it's cool. It's that, I like that, man. It's more, it's more vibes. Man. Yeah, like exactly. That, man. Get to see that you're sipping on a matcha latte Come as well. Come on, man. You know, it's oat milk. You, yeah. know what I mean? Come you, on. you were the guys who were just saying that you've changed. That's what you were saying. And I'm like, yeah, I have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's not, I don't apologize for this no yeah. more. It's just like, because then you just beat yourself up. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, I've changed. I like <laughs> it. <laughs> but I do like it, though, because of course, you know, in the brand new film, Nope, obviously, you're, you're co starring Kiki Palmer. Um, now, obviously, you've been showing her around the hotspots of the UK. I've been seeing. No, no, no. We just that we just land. I'm going to show. Her, I'm going to take her around. I'm going to take her where, around. Where would those hotspots be? I'm going to Shoreditch. We're going to go Shoreditch. Oh, yeah. We're going to pull up in Shoreditch. Going to go Stork. Okay. Put a little spot in Mayfair. Gonna, and then we're going to just ride around, see a little bit. Go, go Coco. Okay. Spot, go take her Camden. I mean, I'm going to take her around, see where she goes. Oh, I'm going to try and go to the hood. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> where the hood is? <laughs> so I got you, man. I got you. Let's talk about the film Nope. It's a sci fi horror. It, it's actually like, it's a bit of a thing to get your head around. Yeah. It's set in the daytime, and that's quite unusual for a horror. Mm -hmm. Was it a bit unnerving? Did it end up making you scared of the daylight? A little bit. I, like, I did. I did. When I was like, I did start having like when I was shooting, like just looking at clouds. Funny. Like, <laughs> yeah. Exactly. What are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're not you moving. Doing? Like, you're not purpose. moving. What is it? So um, yeah. It's it's kind of like it's an interesting concept. It's about suspense. You yeah. know what I mean, and like um, bringing fear to things that are just naturally everywhere. You know. So then like mm. so then someone can take it after the film. Go. Oh my god. Yeah. That cloud or this or feel a, a level of tense. That's what I think Jordan's gift is. Yeah, making us scared of things we weren't scared of before. Exactly, exactly. I was scared of tea after after Get Out. Yeah, same. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, don't stir that tea. Yeah. Um, when you say Jordan, you mean the director Jordan Peele, right? Which is the yeah. second time you've actually worked with him. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. If you were to make a third sort of film, make it a hat trick, I want your imagination to run wild right now. What would the film be? Oh, man. E45. It's about a cream <laughs> <laughs> that eats you. Do you know what I mean? like basically put a cream on and it's just like, you know what I'm scared of? I cream? Said, actually, no, 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 I'm not cream. <laughs> I can't be scared of cream because I'm black. <laughs> but, but, like, but like, it's like, you know that triophobia? Yeah, that, uh, yeah. The holes. The holes. The holes. <gasps> if there was a cream that gives you triophobia, and oh, you're like, oh, like, nice. so like that. I think that would be cool. That's I think they, they don't, have, you don't see a lot of that in films anymore, like, do you know what I mean? Because that stuff creeps me out. Remember they had it in The Simpsons once, I was bugging out. Like. Yeah, it, it takes me back to like The Matrix when the when the little oh, scorpion so, goes into his yeah. belly button. No, yeah. no. Hey, yeah. actually, speaking of scorpion, the scorpion king reference in oh, Nope. Right. Yes, yes, yes. So, you, so you, your character ended up wearing a, from the set of the scorpion, scorpion king, king film. Yeah, that was his first job that he worked on as a, as yeah. a, as a stuntman. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And that, I mean, it, it kind of set off on Twitter a lot of people talking about that but it did make me think do you ever take anything from the sets of your films that you've done thus far like any merch that you take home and you're like I'm having that yeah Ooh, a lot a what's lot, your favourite what have I taken <laughs> <laughs> I've taken a what lot of stuff what can you admit to uh, what have I taken I've taken a couple jackets from Get Out yeah yeah that was yeah, a couple of jackets from Get Out was a bit special. Yeah. But you then what I'd do, I'd take the jacket because they're nice, isn't it? I was going to say, And I've nice. basically got a year to wear it. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, like, so that I wear it, yeah. And then the room comes out. Actually, there's all this stuff on his press runs that's so nice, yeah. And I just got to rinse it until the interview comes out. <laughs> and I like, do kind of stuff. So then, like, so that's what I do. I take all that stuff, but I just use it. It's a year, a year loan, essentially. So yeah. basically, we can tell what film you're going to be doing by looking at the year previous yeah, exactly. and working out. Yeah, you'll be telling it, you'll be doing like, like a period drama being like, God, he's dressing really regal. Yeah, exactly that. Yeah. Exactly that. I'm doing all that, yeah. For well, well, this good. film, I mean, uh, obviously, like you say, you, you're playing um, a guy who's uh, like a stunt director and the concept is like uh, horror meets sci-fi. It's kind of a bit of a mad one. It's hitting our cinemas tomorrow, but in, the, in America, it's already out, right? Yeah. And I think it is confusing for a certain person. I mean, it doesn't take a lot. Logan Paul. 
Mm. Have you been made aware of this 12 tweet oh, rant? Logan Paul. Oh, we're going we're gonna to talk about this. Yeah, I'm not, do you I, want I, it? Got, yeah, of course, bro. I'm scared. <laughs> 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 if you want to, yeah. <laughs> no, like, what, 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 do you, what, do you, what do you want to talk about? Well, what's your opinion on that? Because people have been schooling him on it, saying, because he didn't understand the movie and he was trying to pick flaws in it. What's your thoughts? My thing is this, yeah. Why is his opinion top of the tree? Mm. <laughs> it's, like, not, it's like, everyone's entitled to their opinion, everyone should go an opinion. Why are you top of the tree? Why are we going, what, what's he done in cinema? Yeah, good point. What's he done in things to me? Like, do you know what I mean, imagine if they asked me about Eric Clapton. Yeah. yeah. You know what it's like? You know what it's like? It's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, when there's a Dave Chappelle joke when they go, and if it's about 9 11, it goes, let's ask Ja Rule. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like, Logan Paul, I see. I was like, bruv, like, he's done these things and he does boxing and that, innit? Like, yeah. he's done, but I'm like, well, all right, cool. Your opinion, but like, why is everyone thinking yeah. is oh, no. on everything? So, like, I would, I would rather, I'll take everyone's opinion on. You know yeah. I mean? And like, so then, like, I'll, I'll listen to it, but I'm just going, I don't know why you're. Over everybody else, because you're just a brother that's just talking about stuff, innit? And like you're allowed to, you're entitled to talk about your things. And then, what did he say? What did he say? Uh, well, I don't, <laughs> there's a lot of tweets, but basically that he didn't understand it, and then he thought it was shock for the sake of it, that kind of stuff. I'd have to sit down with him. I, I, would I ever sit down with him? No, that actually defeats the point. No, I won't sit down. No, with him. no. but like, um, but um, but yeah, no, nah, he's entitled to his opinion. He can say what he wants. I'll have a look at it, but I just don't know why uh, he's. It's just Logan Paul, isn't it? Yeah, like, stay in your lane, Logan. Yeah, like that. <laughs> yeah too um, right. Too in right. this film, you come face to face with like aliens, basically, the alien yeah. species, right? Now, we have an ongoing argument in this studio. <laughs> um, Roman is obsessed with aliens, space, anything to do with them. Do you believe in aliens? Do you believe that there is life up there? Yeah, because there's koalas. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Koalas. And that's like, and that, and we'll leave that there. That's it. <laughs> 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 no, like, 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 people go like, is there aliens? But there's like kangaroos. They're like chihuahuas. So then like, of course there's going to be something up there. Like, there's going to be some something random <laughs> that we just haven't got a name of because it's like, there's a lot of planets. It's yeah. like, you look up, there's a lot of stars. So it's like, there's got to be some. I do believe there's something out there. I just have no interest in going, like I wouldn't go down the street and knock on, some, on someone's door Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't go to another planet and go, what are you doing? So it's like, that's how I see it. Like, yeah. If you're doing your thing, you don't want to invade me, then we're cool. I have to bring this up, that, that picture of you and Jay-Z yeah. hanging out, where was it, the Super Bowl? Super Bowl. Was that the first time you met each other? No, 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 no. That, I mean, you, you're like friends, your no, friend group now is insane. No, no, it's nuts, nuts. The first time I met Jay-Z was nuts. That was nuts. It's about to happen, it's about to happen. Is Beyonce as nice in real life? Lovely. Lovely, so cool. Oh, so cool. Amazing. Talk to me about this whole thing with your mum and the Oscars. <laughs> Which bit do you want to talk about? I want to know the story. Uh, yeah, I, I, I went on stage and I was just feeling myself. Do you know what I mean? I'd got an Oscar and I was just like really happy and grateful for life. So then I was just like, yeah, like, just so happy to be alive. Like, I'm so happy that my mum and dad had sex. You know what I mean? And now we're out here. Do you know what I mean? I'm enjoying it. Like, yeah. And then, like, and then I got off stage and then all these interviews, like Ryan Seacrest, are like, oh my God, your mum and dad. I said, is this going to be a thing? Like, I was just like, <laughs> I think he was in, I was like, is this going to be a thing? And I was like, yeah, like, I'm like, but your mum and dad had sex. Like, everyone, <laughs> everyone's mum and dad had sex. Like, yeah. I don't understand. I didn't, it's not like I'm doing, it's not, I didn't say anything radical. Here, like, <laughs> but your mum weren't happy. My mum weren't happy. Like, <laughs> I had to FaceTime her after. She was like, ah. she still, she still gets me about it. She still gets me about it. Every time I go to an interview, she's like, what you, what you say? <laughs> <laughs> that is fair enough. Now, there's one no, film no, that no. We, we do hope that you win, well, Roman in particular, hopes that you win Oscars for. Um, you're actually narrating All or Nothing for Arsenal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, you can, I know you're so excited about this. So, obviously, your team you as well, enough. right? Oh. Is he? Look, look at this Arsenal tattoo. Oh, God, Arsenal there we tattoo. go. Look. Oh, wait, okay. What's he getting out? Arsenal tattoo. Come on, man. <laughs> have you got an Arsenal tattoo? No, I have not. Would you get one? Absolutely I'm... not. No, yeah. neither would I. <laughs> uh, what's it like? Obviously, this is your this is your club. Is yeah, it like right. the biggest privilege to be working with them? I mean, what did you get out of this? You know, free games for life. Uh, no, no, I did. I did. I did have. I did go to all the games last season, um, and then like, and there was a there was a oh mate, there was I think it was a Man United match. I think it was the Man United match, and they basically go at half time. They're like, do you want to go and see the half time talk? Oh my god! So then no. I go into it the, because they're filming it, innit? So then I went down there into this thing, and then they were like this, and I, I'm pumped, and it's Man United. I'm yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> and, like, and then like, and Miguel is like, oh, you do this, and then and then and like this, and you go like that, and I'm just watching it, and I'm like, 
cutting Cedric, and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, but it's like that seeing seeing like the behind the scenes of that, like that. That's what I love. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And then also just I just I watch all or nothing. I watch the yeah. Man City one. I watch yeah. the Spurs one. So even just doing that, that's just something I'd watch if I was working at a bank. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? So it's like just to be a part of it and then do it for Arsenal is just uh, it's next level, man. I'd, I'm so like I'm so and I met Saka, met Smith, like. It was wicked, You're, man. Like, I'm, I'm gas- smile. Bro, look it's Arsenal, awesome, bro. It's like, <laughs> I can't wait. I went hybrid back in the day. Like, I'm from, like, there's That's one it. time my boy said he had a ticket, yeah, for the Emirates, yeah. But I, my, my phone went on. I think I was writing and my phone went on. And then he texted me, like, damn, I got a ticket. And the game was in 20 minutes. Oh. I ran from my house to the stadium. That's how close I live. What? I ran from my house to the stadium. Uh, and then you know, and I made it on time. I love that you were writing. You put your pen down and went, no, it's like, well, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But doing the doing the voiceover for those types of things. I know for a fact that there are some moments where, if you listen carefully, if you do watch that documentary, right, you listen carefully, you can hear Daniel going. <laughs> Didn't make the champions. Tears, tears. Yeah. No, 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 no. Like when, when holding messed up. Like, yeah. oh, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. but then also I tried to like. Oh, they didn't let me do it, but I tried to every time I said Spurs to say it like it's a swear word. <laughs> <laughs> And then you got Spurs. <laughs> <laughs> we do that every day on the show, don't we? Yeah. Well, listen out for that one. Exactly. Hey, I love how much you're buzzing about every, almost everything you're doing. Like, you, whether it's Hollywood, whether it's something in London or whatever, it's amazing. Now, I know someone else that, that is very keen uh, to work with you. We've seen so many interviews about it. Uh, John Boyega wants to work yeah, alongside that's my guy. you. Of course, yeah. John's my guy. What's the chance of you joining uh, Star Wars? So I was like, hey, listen, shout me, man. <laughs> George Lucas, bro, like, you got my WhatsApp. <laughs> WhatsApp me, bro, or Telegram, wherever you're on. There you, you know, go. Telegram. the guy. You're going to be Telegram walking around with a lightsaber bro. now, Telegram aren't you? Yeah, yeah, come on. <laughs> so good. We'd love that. Hey, well, mate, look, it, it's been a pleasure to, to, to speak to you today, but there is one final thing yeah. that people wanted to know about, and I'd be not forgiven if I didn't ask you. Kiki Palmer. Your co-star. Yeah. She uploaded a video of you asking uh, what you're looking for in a partner. Oh, Jesus. You said good vibes, <laughs> good energy, fun and intelligence. Mm. You've spoken to us for a while. Take your pick out of us. <laughs> <laughs> He's looking down again. <laughs> don't, don't you dare. Don't you. <laughs> I mean, I mean, yeah, yeah. We're gonna... it's, got, it's got to be me. I'm an Arsenal fan. Oh, yeah. Of Where do you think we're going to finish this season? Honestly? Yeah. Fourth. I think third. Oh. oh. We're not above. matched. We're not matched then. No, we're not matched. We're nah. incompatible. We're incompatible. <laughs> I, belie- I yeah. believe more. Sean, Daniel, there you go. There you Let's go. do That's this. Uh, nope is out tomorrow. Match go enjoy right? it. That's it. <laughs> nope is out tomorrow. Go enjoy it. Let's hear it for Daniel Kalu. Oh, yeah. Have a good day, guys. All right, bless up. 